Our topic will be about implicit differentiation. So as we have discussed already uh, uh, under the topic functions, so function is composed of two types, the explicit and the implicit form. So here we are going to discuss about the implicit only since we are done with the explicit differentiation. So for example, we are going to find for the first derivative y prime in this example, x squared plus y squared is equal to a squared. And then, differentiating x squared, that is equal to 2x dx. Differentiating y squared is 2y dy. And then, a is a squared. Since a is constant, the, the differential of any constant is equal to 0. And then, dividing all terms of our equation by 2. So, that is x dx plus y dy is equal to 0. And then, finding for y prime, since our y prime is equal to dy over dx, so x plus y times dy over dx is equal to 0, that is y prime, our dy over dx, and then transposing x from left to right of our equation, and then finding for y prime, dividing both sides by y, that is equal to negative x over y. And another solution, for a simpler solution on that, Given the same equation, so we have to consider the derivative of x is equal to 1, and then the derivative of y is equal to y prime. So that is 2x times 1 plus 2y, y prime is equal to 0. And then x plus y, y prime is equal to 0. Since we divided the equation by 2, and then transposing x, from left to right and then finding for y prime that is negative x over y. Second example, x squared minus 2xy plus y squared minus 6x plus 2y is equal to 0. Differentiating, x squared is equal to 2x and then my, uh, differentiating negative 2xy since this term has two different variables x and y so we are going to consider our first term is negative 2x and our second one is y differentiating the first variable with negative 2 constant so that is negative 2 and then copy the second one minus the first variable negative 2x and then differentiating y the second so that is equal to y prime plus differentiating y squared that is 2y y prime minus 6 differential of negative 6x is negative 6 plus the differential of 2y that is equal to 2y prime which is equal to 0 and then transferring all terms without y prime from left to right so that is equal to 2y minus 2x plus 6. Cancelling out 2, since 2 is the common factor of our equation, that is y y prime minus x y prime plus y prime is equal to y minus x plus 3. And then factoring out y prime on these three terms, so that is y minus x plus 1. And then dividing both sides by this y minus x plus 1 that is equal to y minus x plus 3 all over y minus x plus 1 that is our y prime and then the third one the quantity x plus y squared is equal to 2ay differentiating this one using the power rule that is 2 copy the quantity x plus y so while subtracting the exponent by 1 so that has automatically 1 as, as its exponent. And then deriving the quantity itself. So the derivation of x is equal to 1. And then differential of y is y prime. And then taking 2ay using the differentiating using the multiplication rule. The first term is 2y. The second term is y. So, copy the first term, derive the second term, y prime, and then copy the second term, plus y, and then deriving the first term, 2a, since that is constant, that will be 0. 
and then distributing 2 and the quantity x plus y to to 1 and y prime so that is 2 times the quantity of x plus y plus 2y prime times the quantity of x plus y and then dividing all by 2 our common factor and then transferring x plus y from left to right so that is negative x plus y transferring also a y prime from right to left and then factoring out y prime on the two terms so that is x plus y minus a and then distributing negative 1 to x and y so that is negative x minus y and then dividing both sides by x plus y minus a in order to find for the value of y prime and then multiplying negative 1 to our values to, to this fraction that is x plus y all over a minus x minus y next example x raised to two-thirds plus y raised to two-thirds is equal to a raised to two-thirds using the power rule that is two-thirds x raised to negative one-third because two-thirds minus one is negative one-thirds plus two-thirds y negative raised to negative one-third times y prime equal to zero since a is constant dividing the equation by two-thirds that is x raised to negative one-third plus y raised to negative one-third y prime equal to zero and then transferring x transferring the x variable from left to right and then finding for y prime that is negative x raised to negative one-third all over y raised to negative one-third and making our exponent positive so we have to have the reciprocal of this one so our numerator will be negative y raised to positive one-third and our denominator is x raised to one-third so that is our first derivative of y and then we are going to find for the slope of the curve at point one two so this is the equation of our curve x squared plus two y squared minus three y minus three x minus four y plus two is equal to zero and then deriving that is equal to 2x plus 4y y prime minus 3 minus 4y prime equal to 0 and then transferring terms without y prime from left to right and then factoring out y prime to these two terms that is y prime times 4y minus 4 and then dividing both sides by 4y minus 4 this is the result and then substituting for the values of x coordinate and y coordinate which is 1 2 so that is 3 minus 2 times 1 all over 4 times 2 minus 4 and then our slope or our first derivative is equal to 1 4 so that is all for our topic about the implicit differentiation for your questions about this topic just comment down on our discussion section and our next topic will be about higher derivatives